Developments this hour on the hot issue of immigration. We've learned that Arizona Governor Jan Brewer is now starting a legal defense fund to help fight challenges to her state's new controversial immigration law. Top Justice Department officials in Washington have prepared papers arguing that that measure is unconstitutional. In the meantime, just in the last hour, the U.S. Senate shot down an amendment from Texas Senator John Cornyn, which he says would have, quote, corrected the misplaced priorities of the Obama administration on border security. Senator Cornyn is on Capitol Hill, joins us now live. Good morning to you, Senator. Thank you, Jay. Your amendment asked for more people and for better technology to try to protect our border. Why did it fail? Well, unfortunately, I think Washington sh continues to show its disconnect with the concerns of average Americans. And my constituents in Texas tell me that they're very concerned about the raging cartel uh, wars going on in Mexico. In the last six, uh, last, since 2006, 23,000 people have been killed, including a number of Americans, uh, even as recently as last weekend. And uh, we, we know that Mexico has a, has a problem of its own, that uh, there's actually a Department of Homeland Security report out to local police in Houston to keep their eyes peeled for a Somali man believed to be associated with a group connected with al-Qaeda coming across the U.S.-Mexico border. And that should remind us that last year alone, 45,000 OTMs, individuals other than Mexican citizens, used the Mexico's border, its porous border, to come into the United States. People from Pakistan, Iran, Yemen, Somalia, uh, even uh, places like I said, Iran, a state sponsor of international terrorism. So this is a national security imperative, and unfortunately, uh, too many people here in Washington just don't seem to get it and they rather criticize states that try to defend themselves like Arizona. You've said that the Obama White House is in denial, your words, but just this week we saw the president order some 1,200 National Guard troops to the border. It's a Band-Aid, uh, Jane. Uh, we have a 2,000-mile common border with Mexico in the south. 1,200 of that is in Texas alone. Uh, these National Guard have limitations on what they can actually do, and uh, most of these are going to be desk-type jobs. This is going to take a real commitment uh, by the federal government, by Congress, by the administration to provide the border patrol we need, to provide the technology like unmanned aerial vehicles and other ground surveillance systems. We're going to need to beef, it, beef up the technology, boots on the ground, and the physical infrastructure to try to keep our borders secure. And unfortunately, the the Obama administration simply doesn't seem to be getting it. You know, you call this a Band-Aid. I suppose some would have called your amendment a Band-Aid as well. And, and isn't there an argument to be made that what we're looking at here really is piecemeal, amendment by amendment, move by move, that what we really should be looking at is a broader, complete overhaul of this policy that nobody on any side seems to like? Well, I think we have to start with securing the border because unless we do that, then we won't be able to do the other immigration reform measures that I think there could well be some uh, consensus on. The problem is the federal government's got a credibility problem. We need credible steps to secure the border because we simply can't tolerate uh, the drug cartels and other organized gang activity bringing across drugs, guns, and people into the United States willy-nilly, and that's the, the status quo, unfortunately. Uh, just one last question for you, Senator. Um, I know you've worked on justice issues for so long, for so much of your career. I wanted to get your reaction to the, what we've learned that the Justice Department has prepared papers to file uh, to argue that the Arizona law is unconstitutional. Your thoughts? Well, I wish the administration would spend more of its efforts in trying to help uh, do its work, which is the border security and immigration reform, rather than criticize those states who basically have been left to their own devices and are trying to defend themselves. Uh, I've read the law. The uh, Attorney General, at least when he testified here, and the Secretary of the Department of Homeland Security had not. It expressly bans uh, racial profiling. It says you can't ask for ID unless you stop someone in an otherwise lawful stop. That's something that's expected of you and me and everybody else, and I don't think it's particularly onerous or, or remarkable. We will see what we hear from Department of Justice, Senator John Cornyn of Texas. Thanks for your time, Senator.